guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I thought I'd talk to you guys about some books that I've owned for so so long that I've been reading to read and that I just haven't read yet. That I've owned for like years. So we're gonna talk about all the books that I've owned for a few years and haven't read and really should read and some of you guys are gonna yell at me for some of these so let's get into it. I try to mix the genres and give you guys a little bit of everything, but first up here I have Trouble by Non Pratt. I wanted to read this so long ago because I really want to read about teen mothers, and I still do. I still find that really interesting in that perspective. I just wanted to learn more about, and I still want to learn about that perspective, but I, that's the reason why I bought this. This follows a 15 year old girl named Hannah who gets pregnant at 15. I'm not really sure how or any of that kind of thing. I just know she gets pregnant at 15 and that it's just about her dealing with that and she just needs someone in her life right now. And I believe she crosses paths with a guy who also just needs someone in his life right now. And it's about them together, I guess. It sounds, it sounds nice, I hope. Like I've heard some pretty decent things, so I hope it is like a solid read as well. Next up here, I have Tiger Lily by Jodi Lynn Anderson. This was so popular on booktube like many, many years ago. And or at least like a year ago or two years ago. I don't even remember how long it was that people were talking about this a lot, but I remember it used to be everywhere. This story follows this 15 year old girl named Tiger Lily who meets Peter Pan in the woods. And I believe it's just like very dark retelling. And it, it was like, she's before Wendy. I think. So this was before Peter had his story with Wendy and Tiger Lily was the person before that. So I'm interested to read this. It sounds really cool. I'm not gonna lie. It sounds pretty cool. But I, the little tagline makes me really want to read it. So that's why I'm going to read it to you. But it says before Neverland faded into myth, it was a remote and dangerous island filled with deadly mermaids, psychotic pirates, and watchful fairies. And before Peter Pan belonged to Wendy, he belonged to the girl with the crow feather in her hair, Tiger Lily. So this actually sounds really cool. Like now I really want to pick it up. <laughs> Next up here I have Station Eleven. Station Eleven is written by Emily St. John Mendel and this story I believe follows a pandemic which I just learned recently but there's also like Shakespeare in here and I don't know if it's after a pandemic or before. I'll probably look it up and put it on the screen for you guys but I've wanted to read this for so long just because it's won a lot of awards. It's supposed to be incredible. Um, I've heard just phenomenal things about it and I've had it for a few years and I, there were so many times I planned to read this and then I just didn't. And it just reminded me that I had it when it was on Ariel's uh, Reading Rush TBR and I was like, oh yeah, I've had that book forever. <laughs> like, damn. So I do want to read this at some point. Here's the one you're gonna all yell at me for. <laughs> and I'm preparing. That is The Stand by Stephen King. And I still get comments every day on most of my Stephen King videos about where's The Stand? Have you read The Stand? Are you gonna do a review on The Stand? You should do a review on The Stand. Julia, The Stand is amazing. <laughs> and it's like, okay. So I did start it. Wow, I read 14 pages. I was doing so great. But I don't know, I wasn't in the mood for it at the time. And then I just haven't picked it up since just because I feel so much pressure to do a review. And that's honestly the reason why I haven't read it is just because I've owned it for so long like so, so long, like five years maybe, and, or six years. And I wanted to read this ever since, but I just haven't gotten around to it just because one, it's huge, so it is intimidating. But also, it's not even that it's a big book. It's that, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna have to really make a ton of notes and I don't mind making notes and I, I like doing reviews, but I just feel really nervous to make a review with this book just because, I don't know, everyone want like everyone is kinda, like a lot of people really want me to do a review for it. So I just, I don't know, I haven't gotten around to it yet. And I'll read it eventually, guys, because I do want to read it anyways. But I heard the stand is not good to read right now during the pandemic. But I don't know. And lastly here, we have Helter Skelter. And this is a book about the Manson murders and the Manson family. So this I've been reading, meaning to read for so long. I tabbed the top and everything and I was going to read a certain amount of pages a day because I was going to read it. See, here's my, <laughs> see, here's my proof. Like I was going to, I was going to read it. I have proof. But <laughs> I wanted to read this for a really long time because I love criminology and true crime is just a really interesting thing to me. So I was hope, like I've been meaning to read this for a really long time and I haven't yet. I know there's a lot of like photos in here and I think there's like some questions in here. And yeah, it has um, some of the victims photos in here and all that stuff. So it's definitely gonna be like a super dense read but I really want to get around to it. It's definitely one of the true crime books that is like high on my list is Helter Skelter. So 
Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you would like to, you can subscribe to my channel or like this video if you enjoyed it. I also have a bunch of social media linked down below, including um, my Etsy shop where I sell bookmarks and different kind of like resin trays. So if you're interested in that, that's linked down below. And I have my, also my Goodreads, Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff down below if you want to check me out on any other platform. But yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you super soon. Bye.